Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit and from all of us on this journey to love and to reunite with our twins in this lifetime. And so this is just a follow-up to this morning's message. So this is part two of today's message. And I'm going to be talking about the book that I'm doing again, which is a compilation of twin flame stories from twin flames from all over the world. And I just want to say a big thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that's asked to be involved. Amazing. Um, I'm just going to go through the email. I've sent out the email to the first lot of people this morning. Um, and so if you want to be involved and you haven't checked in your email because everyone that's been put for everyone that requested so far, I've just sent out the email this morning. So, um, what, uh, so I just want to say a big thank you. And the, when I pulled the card this morning to say, what's the, you know, basically I wanted to get from the tarot, what is the kind of, what, what are we going to be doing through the process of doing this book? And, uh, the cards were death. So transformation. So basically transforming old energies and creating a rebirth into this new love. And it was then the temperate, temperance card was below, which was so lovely because the temperance card is like the ultimate relationship, true balance, true beauty, true um, divine feminine, divine masculine energy in a relationship. So it was really, really lovely. Um, so I'm going to, this is, and this is the temperance card in the Starman Tarot deck and it is just beautiful. So I'm just going to read you what uh, the temperance write-up is. And also if you want to be included in the book, um, then it is, um, you will receive a set of questions that you can basically guide, which take you through um, the process, which makes it easier for you. And you don't have to give your names, you can give fictional names. But it really is an opportunity for you to help share your story. And through it, it's a really healing, cathartic process. Because also it makes you sit down and really, you know, basically what I would recommend you do is you meditate on the questions and then write whatever comes. Don't think about it, just let it flow. And then that is the guidance from you and your twin. That's your higher self with your twin. And so it's a really lovely way of really, you know, taking a step and looking how far you've come on the journey. Because one thing that I really am so proud of is that all of the people that come to me for healings. And if I can, I can just see that process and all of the people that have signed up to be part of the book, it's kind of like an amazing evolution of the crystal grid and all of the members of it and how that journey has just been completely transformational and so it's a real opportunity to give yourself a pat on the back but not only that to really show how far you've come on the journey share your learnings share your experiences to help others and that's really what we are here to do as a twin flame is to be a guiding light for others so it's an amazing opportunity. Um, so I'm just going to read the temperance because it was the two tarot that came out was it was death, transformation into rebirth of the temperance. So I am astonished by the beauty of life in all its facets. So this is where we're heading to for all of those. It's like rebirthing through this book. It's going to be cathartic cleanse of energy. It's going to be a rebirth into new energy. It is a huge healing process just doing this. So temperance brings respite after the storm, a soothing balm in any situation. It suggests when we take the time to balance the various elements and energies in our lives, we will find a clear pathway to our goals. This card embodies the nature of healing and moderation, self-care and self-knowledge. We become whole when we acknowledge the different shades and colors of our personalities understand their needs and accept them. When we cease the internal struggle and stop arguing with reality, if we know the exact blend of energy required for any given situation, we can walk with peace. Temperance says you have integrated many hard-won lessons and have a lovely degree of maturity and wisdom, consciously learning how to balance and calmly address the different elements, values and priorities in your life. Slowing down, you too are able to capture the majesty of life, 
the extraordinary in the ordinary, a time of rebirth. Seeing with fresh eyes, you marvel at the miracle and beauty of creation all around you and acknowledge that the pain you have endured in life was a necessary catalyst for this freedom. You are releasing the past and stepping deliberately into the present, aware of the dance and union of opposing forces, light and dark with the divine. Your inner voice is guiding you, so trust it. Respond to challenges with restraint, flexibility and a deep commitment to success. This is a brilliant time to combine forces and work with others because you have the steady balancing temperament that can bring out the synergies between others with a magical mix of talent, experience, ability and skill. Wow, how wonderful. So the temperance, and look at that, it's on page 50, which is five, which is change. So the temperance is seeing the extraordinary in the ordinary, exquisite balance, it's a period of rebirth, slowing down and viewing the world with fresh, magical perspective trust in your intuition so through this process you know through this process it will be extremely cathartic because it will you know like i say the best thing to do would be to meditate and then write whatever comes after your meditation so take the questions into your meditation ask the universe to open you up to your spirit your twin spirits ask to be to let all of your barriers go you know be put away so you can let just your guidance flow through you from your hand to the paper and then trust whatever comes don't go back and filter it you know because the the beauty of this is the rawness of the stories and it's not about is it written well is it punctuated properly is it grammatically correct it's not about that. It's about the rawness and the trueness of your story. And so I just want to say a big, big thank you because again, it is amazing. And it's also amazing what can be achieved in, you know, in a, in a relatively short space of time as well. Because it is the, um, it's the, the Libra full supermoon on the 20th of March. So um, I would like to have everyone's uh, responses in by or um, answers in by the 20th of March because it's going to be a significant day and so I've been led to do it now because uh, the Libra full moon is all about relationships. It's all about healing those relationships, you know, and that intense energy that we've been going through recently um, I know for me personally, it's been huge, intense, passionate flare up of energies that I can see completely ending a cycle, which is why the death transformation card coming through in relation to this book is completely correct because we've got to, you know, it is a rebirth into this new found love, this new energy that we're all creating. So I just want to say again, thank you so much. If you do want to be involved, then again, um, put send me an email to divine love crystal grid at gmail.com and put TF story into the subject line and then you will receive an email from me and it has the list of questions that if you update the email with your responses you can write as much or as little as you want it really is up to you to get to tell your story so I'm going to finish by saying okay what uh, this is specifically around this book okay what is the guidance from the Work Your Light Oracle for this book? And so, I'm, oh my God, look at that, it's the awakening. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. So, of course, when we're doing this, we're solidifying these spiritual connections into the physical because, of course, we're writing about our story. We're not hiding, you know, this is going to be, um, you know, up to 100 twin flames from all over the world sharing their story. And so because of that, it creates a conscious awakening, right? Um, which is amazing. I mean, I love that. So the tarot around this book has been death of the old into temperance for our twin relationships and the awakening. So quite, uh, that's, that's very cool. I mean, I couldn't really ask for more. <laughs> so the awakening is this. Energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. So you're going through a period of awakening. 
Things are changing within you and at many levels. You are starting to remember ancient truths and discovering more and more about who you are and why you incarnated. You may find that you're experiencing past life flashbacks, seeing the invisible thread that is woven through all of life, or even feeling Kundalini Shakti rise through your body from the base of your spine. The most important thing for this time is not to overthink it and to stay grounded. Share your experiences with like soul people while you consciously integrate them. Journal and pay attention to your dreams. I mean, really, uh, it's brilliant, isn't it? You are remembering and your soul gifts are emerging. During this time of transition and awakening, you may be called to devote yourself to being of service. There are ideas, truths, concepts, books, and creations waiting to be birthed into this new world. Stay open to receiving them. Pulling this card may be a sign that you are here to birth one of these creations into the world, or perhaps you are being called to make a shift in your life in order to be of service. Don't think too much about it. Instead, repeat the following work your light activation. So I recognize, I recognize, I recommend that you do this before you start your meditation, before you answer the questions. I mean, this is why spirit is so brilliant, isn't it? Because I mean, who would have thought that this would be about writing a book, the awakening card. So I surrender to my awakening. I allow the Shakti energy to rise from the base of my spine. I open myself up to the universe, using me in a way that delights my mind, body and spirit. So how wonderful so again i'm just going to go through the questions if you want to be involved then these are the questions you don't have to answer all of them any of them you can write your story how you wish but this is to give you a framework so the questions are how did you know find out about twin flames and what led you to know that your twin was your twin what significant songs numbers signs are special for you and your twin any stories of events and synchronicities that confirmed your past what has been your TF experience? What was the bubble phase like? Separation? And what is your now like? What has been your biggest learnings in your journey? How has the knowing of this journey helped you, changed you? What social boundaries and energies are you breaking down in your dynamic, e.g. addictions, sexuality, age difference, cultural, religious? Is there a particular sacred site which is symbolic to you in your TF story and why? e.g. Stonehenge or a particular tree or, or object or anything. If you were to write a conscious letter of gratitude to your twin today to send to his or her higher self, what would you say? Are there ways this journey has helped prompt you to help others? How? What has been your healing journey and what healing have you found most helpful and why? What are the most helpful resources you found in your journey? What is the one bit of advice that you would give to someone brand new to the TF journey? And any other gems of info you would like to share? And lastly, any services that you offer. So if you have YouTube channels, if you have your own blogs, if you have your own healing business or whatever it is, then at the back of the book, I'm going to do a list of resources, useful resources. So you can um, also provide a list of those. Now, the big thing is, is that, you know, I have been guided that this, there's going to be a big shift through doing this process. It will be transformational because it will be cathartic by writing things down, by writing through what, what, what were the challenges that you had to face. It's a really good way. Like with the, with the moon cycle, you burn what you want to let go of, writing it down and, and sending it away with love, you know. This is what the purpose of this is to bring all of our collective energies through a huge vibrational shift into more of that high frequency divine love. It's the pulling together. It's the cementing of the crystal grid. So there you go. And Twin Flame Union. So I just want to say thank you again. So amazing. So the cards that are around it are death into temperance into the awakening so amazing all right i hope that helps it'll be amazing to have you and your twin story involved so please do all details in the link